For some reason, I always like a U-boat, but I think they call it submarine in America. Welcome to Hamburg. We are right here next to the Elbe River. And behind me, you see a Russian submarine. There's a torpedo right there. So today we are gonna do like a little adventure going inside a Russian submarine. Believe it or not, mom already seen two U-boats, one in uh, Pearl Harbor in Hawaii and the one in Long Beach. And now we're gonna see the third one here in Hamburg. In Hamburg. They got 24 of those on board. That's heavy. Yeah, this is the actual size of a submarine propeller. It's pretty big. Crazy to think that those guys went underwater for a couple days. And we're just here walking in and checking it out. Oi, 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 oi. So tight. Representski, Ruts Bumoko, Korinichko Lopombliet Kradich, Elemechko no Kurbuf, Rabichirach. La Buchko Rodinich, Abulich Kuch Machkalitz, Abandus Ruizab, Ulus Ulbratskilalts Ilmblatski. Du Sputrangiska Pataniatsko. Smells like gas, and you're already just imagine everything is working. <laughs> All that noise in here and the heat. I could never be, never ever just walking through. Have you ever been in a U boat? There's a special technique to get through here. Even a big guy like me can do it. But they were running through here sometimes. What happened if we push this one? Nothing. You know how many Russians were standing in here, washing themselves in here? And now I'm standing here. I guess this is where they were sitting and eating. I don't know how deep they go down, but just imagine being underwater, like one kilometer or 500 or 600 meters under the water in one of those things. Davich Rats, Brutsna private I think this is just the upper floor where people sleep. Four people in one little room like this. Sometimes they even had to share the beds. Half of the crew are working, half of the crew are sleeping. So two people have to share one bed sometimes. Is that right, sir? Yeah, there's no way I would go underwater with this thing. This brings back a lot of memories. This is what I used to do as an electronic electrician in the factory. I put like all the cables really neat so they look really good. I can do it. Going down. Mom, are you in there? Are you in there, Mom? down here goes right in here wow i'm not kidding i'm already want to get out of here piku atsit pazi grubisna knuchis garbicha durti vyadigi putunutskena tiki burti tsubu golden garach na druchi bu ampe meto what meto down here, I don't know what's in here. Oh, the hot water. 17, 12, and 24, bitte melden. That's the phone. Oh, mom, it's the perfect size. She can actually stand straight in here. I cannot stand up straight. And how do they know what all this is for? And what if something like this is not working? Can you still come go up or no? Where do you get your oxygen from? This is where they prepare food, a grill. <laughs> Crazy. Is this the telescope where they can see outside what's going on? I think so. some more space where people can sit. Ready, let's go. We gotta go fast.
Ooh, step by step. The kitchen. Svedania. They were in here for weeks sometimes. Läufer Motor. Mom, can you do it? Yes, I can. I can. I guess the machine room. What a smell is in here. I guess that's the sound you hear. Guess how many people were here on board? Nope, not the right number, guess again. Nope. 84 people fit in this little U-boat. 84 people, are you kidding? There's no space for 84 people in here. They built this one in 1976, I thought it was older. I'm really digging those lights here. for 24 hours what do you do for fun there's no internet there's no TV how do you have fun in here Like to be in one of those going down in the water? I think that was it, and we at the end. And they can lock those too in case there was some water. Uh, sweating already, just walking through here. That's another thing I worked on. Das ist ein Schleifringläufer Motor. Believe it or not, I fix those things. Man. Who came up with the idea to build something like this? Made it fit in a small space like that. Why is that Russian U-boat here in Germany? I mean, just to have this in your living room would be cool, having it on the wall, something like that. What is this one for? What if this doesn't work? Would the boat still go or no? I was about to ask where they actually go to the restroom. Uh oh. 84 people go use the same restroom here. Wow. This is the opening to go 
up on top too. I mean, just imagine all the all that noise and the heat in here. I said it so many times. But when you look over here, you would go, what? They had to climb in here to sleep in here. See this, the bed is right there. There's one bed here, one bed here. And then the heat over here coming down there. There's no way, not even one minute I wanna be in here. Pretty awesome though to see how all this stuff works and what it looks like from the inside. It's only like nine years to get in, so I also would recommend to do this when you come to come to Hamburg. Now it's all this waterproof when it goes down. I have no idea what it was. Windy and cold again here outside, but now you actually know what it looks like to be in one of those submarines, especially a Russian submarine. Anyway, if you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to the GIV. Check this U-boat out when you come to Hamburg. See you guys later. Tschüssing.